Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on map reading. There are many examples in real life where we are asked to read a map. Specifically, we might need to find a particular building or street. We are able to do this because nearly all maps are set up like a grid system. There is a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. Using these two axes, we are able to pinpoint any position on the given map. On the map to the left, we have coordinates in the form of letters on the horizontal axis. So these letters here, A, B, C, D and E, each one of them is called a coordinate. Also, we have coordinates in the form of numbers on the vertical axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To find any position on the map, we use the horizontal coordinate first, followed by the vertical coordinate. Find the coordinates for each of the following on the given map. Firstly, the dog. Now remember, we always start from this point here, as we saw in previous videos. For the dog, you do the horizontal first, so that's C. Then you do the vertical, 4. See how it's level with 4? So the answer is C4. For the chick, start from the beginning, go across to D, 2. Of course it's level with 2. So the chick is D2. For the bull, start from the beginning and go across to E, 1. So E1 is the bull. On the above map, find the coordinates for each of the following. So the coordinates mean you do a letter first, and then you do a number. The first one is the skull. So let's look where the skull is. There it is there. So I'll leave this red mark near the skull. See there? In fact, I'll put a little red mark there. See that? That'll tell us what we're focusing on. So we start at the beginning. We go across first. So it's C, 4. So there's the answer. C, 4. The next one's the pirate. There's the pirate there, so we're focusing on that one. So we go to the beginning. J5. There it is there. J5. The treasure chest. Here's the treasure chest. Go to the beginning. L7. L7 is the treasure chest. The hut. There's the hut here. Start here. N6. So there's N6. And finally the ship, which is there. Start from the beginning. Q7. So each of these are... That's the C is a coordinate. The 4 is a coordinate. Put them together and that gives you the location in each case. Notice on the above map we have numbers on both axes. To avoid confusion we call the horizontal axis the x-axis. So we call that the x-axis. We call the vertical axis the y-axis. So there it is there, the y-axis. There is also a special way of writing the coordinates using commas and parentheses. So let's look at some examples. Find the coordinates for each of the following on the map. Firstly, the fish. Now here's the fish there. So again, we start from the beginning. Now remember, we always go across first. One, four. Now because they're both numbers, this is our special way. We open the parentheses first, which are like little brackets. We put the one first, then we put a comma, and then we put a four. So the 1 is the horizontal axis, the 4 is the vertical axis, and then we close the parentheses or the brackets. So 1, 4 represents the fish. The brown bird. There's the brown bird there. Go to the beginning. 3, 4. 3, 4. Parentheses, comma. Turkey. There's the turkey there. Go to the beginning. 2, 2. 2, 2. Shell. There's the shell. 4, 2. 4, 2 gives us the shell. And the colourful bird, which is this one, 
Go to the beginning. Six, one. And there we are. Note that we still place the coordinate on the horizontal axis first. Okay, so the first one that you see is always the horizontal axis. The second one that you see is the vertical axis. What item is found at each of the following coordinates? So we're going to give the coordinates now, and then we're going to see what is located at that coordinate. So let's start with this one. 2, 7, the chest. 1, 1, 1, 1 is the ship. 6, 1, there's 6 and there's 1, the coins. 7, 3, there's 7, there's 3, the diamond. 2, 4, there's 2 and there's 4, the pirate. 1, 3, there's 1 and there's 3, the skull. And 8, 5, 8, 5 is the crown. So again, this video has given you some excellent examples on how to locate objects on a grid and we always use the x-axis first, the y-axis second or the horizontal axis first, the vertical axis second. Sometimes you'll have all letters, sometimes you'll have all numbers, sometimes you'll have a mixture of letters and numbers.